Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the plaid. It's here. Final Fantasy VI has made it to Dragon Quest Tact. And yeah, I'm hoping that triggers at least one person out there to mix that up. I am very aware that it is not Final Fantasy VI. Although, honestly, I think the hype for that would be a little bit more real. Um, but Dragon Quest VI, very exciting as well. Now, really quick before we jump deeper into the video. Well, we're going to let this play and turn it down just a tad. Um... I'm not exactly sure what the structure for this is going to be. I don't know anything about this event. So we're going to go in. We're going to feel around. We're going to take a look at all the stuff that we can move the cursor off the screen. And we're just going to, um, you know, kind of learn together about this event. And then I'll give you my first impressions. Maybe we'll end up doing a 10 poll or something. Um, so it might be a little bit of a longer video. I'm not sure exactly what all is going to consist of, but I haven't started this event yet as you can see and so i'm excited to do this with you guys the event's been live for about 30 minutes i think but i was playing magic the gathering so i had to finish my games there dragon quest 6 in dragon quest tact i really like these intros um i i bet we get chunky strong man here these guys up here at the top are probably the ones we're going to be fighting in the sorrows peak s esque tower i'm pretty sure there's a sorrow's peak tower thing um i always don't like i don't like any of the mcs in any of the dragon quest games i like the end of the overture the most i never i never get that far though because it's the very end but you know you know how it goes the the very romantic and oh we still have the winter stuff going on very very interesting okay so first things first i'm a look at inside of all the notices and see what the important ones are who yeah sorry don't copy strike that wasn't imagine dragons that was just me all right let's take a look if they addressed any bugs there's so many bugs i'm joking here that is not a lot all right all right that, that's nothing all right notice so we have got we've got s we'll go look at all this stuff but i just want to see you know no i don't no i don't let's take a look here dragon quest Six. Oh, cool. We're getting one of the um are they like cow slimes or something? I don't remember, but they're the polka dotted ones. Let's take a look here. So we have Dragon Quest Six Event Quest Hard. Event Quest or very normal hard, very hard. So can we do all of them or okay, they're just showing us that they could be unlocked there. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff here. Um chapter one, episode four, Murda arrives. Okay, so we got something there. These are things that I'll probably be doing on stream. I plan on streaming this tomorrow. I do got to play SMT still, but I also want to play this. Let's take a look back here. Event Battle Road. Let's see. We could definitely see our Obtain Carver. All right. Well, we're going to be getting Carver. We'll go through and at least get Carver. How about that? Event Swap Shop. We do have 10 uh, Terry vouchers. I like that it, it puts in quotes, Terry. I feel like that's weird. A Wanderer Sword. That sounds kind of cool. Zap Type Physical Potency. That could be pretty good on Bianca. Um, iridescent orb vitality gauntlets physical potency two percent i wonder if this is a lot of um no i was hoping maybe it'd have like um oh look at uber knuckle and mega knuckle sandwich potency you have two different ultimate abilities that could show up on that that's pretty interesting i was hoping it'd be like a lot of hp here we go look at this uh blooming mats blooming mats blooming mats baby that is what is at 30 irises 10 stamina herbs bunch of gold um, don't get the talent point codexes. They're garbage. Oh, look, and these are all the special ones. These are all good. These are the, um, the beast boppers, the, the super powerful potency ones. And there's even, um, I, I, I passed over it, but don't overlook it. There's a hero exchange crystals also, which is fucking huge. Um, and also one thing I'm noticing, there's not any, um, shards for the collectible character, right? So, um, that must mean he's entirely farmed through other means limited special any new um set items here i don't think so doesn't look like it one thing i am interested in that i always one of the first things i check out is i go to missions and event missions here yeah yeah we get a bunch we get a bunch of stuff here that, that's good all right so let's just actually sorry let's take a look at the scouts really quick and then we will go through and get our things we got terry one guaranteed cool sword bro you might not be the coolest unit but i don't know i mean that is a pretty cool sword um, so if we get a fixed S, it has Slyheart Queen Slime. It has like the expanded general pool. 
Um, not as expanded as I would like, honestly. Like, still a lot of it is not very good for me. But this does have Terry in it. Um, let's take a look at um, this one, though. That's a pretty cool armor. That guy looks dope. I'm probably not going to spend any juice on this guy. I think Nocturnus is coming up, and everyone is telling me he is so good. He is so good. So I probably recommend not spending money on this one, your gems. Let's take a look here. Um, raises physical potency by 15%. That's just 5%. That's a power creep on Squidzilla, right? That's 5% more. No, 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 no. Sorry. That's, so, that's not even, that's not his leadership. 20% hero family physical potency. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. And his super, they put a super attack at the top now. This is coup de gras. Um, usable one time and after three turns, 350% th potency zap type physical damage to all enemies. So it's a three by three physical zap. That's pretty killer. That's a high potency, very cool ability. Also, it doesn't have a mana cost associated with it. Well, I guess not here. 180% zap potency, range three to one enemy. Range three. Interesting. So it's not one to three. It has to be three away. This is basically like a zapple spell, but physical. And that's his base. That's pretty good. Deals major martial damage to all enemies in area of effect and heals 20% of HP dealt in damage to the user. Okay. Um, so if you hit a bunch of things, you're healing up to full. That's pretty sick. 280%. So it's even stronger. Uh, zap type physical damage to all enemies in area of effect. Moves up to four spaces. So then you are dashing through the snow. I bet that Ma Miracle Moon is like actually really good. You get the move up one early on. This isn't a unit review. We don't need to go through it. But uh, I don't want to go through it all. But I just like reading the abilities at the very least. 105% physical potency damage to all enemies in area of effect. Occasionally lowers attack for three turns. I mean, that's cool. You know, he's, I mean, he's got two movement, which blows. He does get battle tactics, charge tactics, raises attack and move for one turn. So does that raise it up to three movement or four movement? Four movement would make him very good. Three movement is like still kind of eh. Greatly raises attack and lowers defense for three turns. Deals 160% potency, bang time, physical damage, all enemies effect. No, I, I, I don't like him. Maybe he's fantastic. I don't know. I don't like him. Anything else new in the banner world? Not yet. I'm sure we're going to get plenty more, though. Don't worry. All right. Well, let's go through and do a little bit of um, the event, right? We can't do this stuff until we get through normal. So let's do that. Murda arrives. Required to unlock, right? And we're going to get... Oh, here we go. Dragon Quest... Six event quests are here. Advance the story and challenge the bosses. Look at that gross Dragon Ball Z character on the left there. Advance the story and recruit Carver. I hope we get to change his outfit. It, it kind of is his outfit's kind of silly. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we all know this stuff. So Carver is going to be new companions. He's going to be episode three, right? All right, so we're going to go check that out. Let's at least get him and see what he's all about. Now, I don't want to be too excited, but I think he might be an S unit. I think he might be a free S unit. And I hear they start giving out free S unit heroes and that they're all not that good. But here's the thing. They're cooler. But honestly, like, what would you rather have? Kiefer, who's maybe the best A unit in the game, or Carver, who's maybe not a good S unit? Like, is a not a good S unit better than the strongest A unit in the game, potentially? I think probably not. Um, this guy's going to be super easy. I assume that he's literally one hit. Yeah. Um, cause like, e even if it's only a little bit better or right there, it's so many more resources to get an S unit to max than it is to get an A unit to max. Like not even close. Right. So that's, um, something we got to worry about, I suppose. Maybe not worry is the right word, but you know, be, be cautious of. Like, what if he's not worth it? I'm going to do it, of course. We're all we're all going to get him to max whatever because that's kind of like what we do. It, like, people don't even ask if they should. <laughs> I don't feel like intact. I just think they, they just do it because it's to be done and they do it. What is this gross little thing? I mean, I know it's the slime, but are, is it recruitable here? Fuck yeah, it is, bro. Model slime. I swear to God, I've never seen those called like model slimes. I don't remember what Dragon Quest they're in. I mean, I haven't played that many, so maybe it was an eight. Might, but you know what? Realistically, it was probably in Dragon Quest Monsters or something. 
maybe Joker, something like that. But they had a lot more monsters in the Dragon Quest monsters and Dragon Quest monsters Joker than they did in the, you know, Dragon Quest 8, Dragon Quest 11 games, I feel like. I like these guys. They're classic. I feel like their smiles look a little different, too. They're probably exactly the same, but they feel different, you know? We only have... What, did he do swoosh or did he do cut swoosh? I think he probably only did swoosh there. Oh, my God. They have under 83 HP. The 83 was lethal. That's pretty funny. You can see our... Um, I actually got another Awaken, so I have two Awaken on my Blucifer. I should nickname him Blucifer. Um, it's Barbados, but I got two Awakens on him. I'm very excited. Like, that's pretty sick. He's like a... He's a very good unit, too, but again, he's like a very good unit no one spends on, but I actually got him from, like... I got one from the paid banner that I did on a video. I got one from the shards from the undead shards or demon shards and then i got one from the um the other thing the um oh i guess we're not gonna get the guy here well we're gonna go until we get our new unit um and then i got i got one from like uh tack points i did it like five tack points tack poles or something and i got him there which is awesome i hope this takes stamina by the way i'm sure it does but i also hope it does because i'm I, i'm burning stamina right now i haven't used stamina today because I didn't want the game to like, I don't know. I, I know a lot of times at seven, but then at seven, it didn't go live, but I wanted my stamina to be full then, but then it didn't matter because it didn't go live then. So we should probably not put prison peacock in the center. He kind of blows. I am thinking about, I, I'm going to need some advice on blooming. There's a lot of things I want to bloom, but I don't have a lot of materials to bloom things. So I'm going to need to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that. Like I, I got to figure out what to bloom, but I need, I want prison peacock, right? I want like, I think he has an extra movement one as well, but also want to finish, um, like, I want to completely finish Dragon Lord. I want to completely finish Great Dragon, and then I want to just do, like, the ability on Metal Dragon, the ability on Prison Peacock, you know, like, maybe not go too far. I'm not going to, oh, but look, you can actually see what you could farm without having to click into the stages. How fucking awesome is that? And we do get Murda, or our Murda arrives here. Oh, baby. Can we actually look at him here? We can look at him here. Let's just... Oh, my God. We can actually look at him maxed. I don't even know if you could do this normally. We're going to just look at this here, then. Four abilities, of course, because he's a hero. All right. So, let's take a... Let's assume that this is the one we're going to get really quick, and we'll look over at level 120, making him an S unit, for sure. 508 attack. Very good. This is no equipment, by the way, so he's getting closer to 550, you know, 560. Um, I mean, that's not like the highest in the game, but that is good. I'm going to take a look at resistances because they're kind of boring. Super weak to blind and confusion is kind of weird. Uh, hero family defense, 30%. I mean, that's high, but it's kind of like not very interesting. Um, when attacking with a spell rarely triggers a meditation. That's interesting. So sometimes he just gets to meditate himself and heal himself. I mean, he's got decent HP, not amazing HP, but he's got like... I don't know. It's, I'll admit it. It's not super impressive. And that whole spell thing when he has a... It says spell, but maybe this is going to be... um Yeah, it's not going to... Maybe... Does it say when attacking with a spell? Because why would it... When attacking with a spell? All right, let's look at his abilities here. Because he has a really... Maybe it means ability. I'm not sure. But um reduces damage 15% for the user and grants 1.5% physical potency effects for one turn. I mean, that's kind of okay. I don't, I don't love it. It's like fine, though. Explosive flying knee uh, at a range of, I guess, three. Deal major bang type martial damage. Interesting, martial. To an enemy moves up to two spaces. Only works if there are no enemies or obstacles between user and the target. I assume the movement up to two spaces only works if there's nothing. Maybe you can't even attack with it, though, if there's something in the way. It is a knee kick, right? Well, I guess we'll find out. But it does say mar major bang martial damage. So that's pretty good. 280% uh, potency physical damage to one enemy. I mean... Yeah, this guy might suck. You know, I'm going to put all the effort into it getting him, but, like, is that even that good? I'm sure he's going to be good in the event for, like, different resistances and stuff, and I, I guarantee there's, like, great things about him, but... You know, 360% potency physical damage to all enemies in area of effect knocks them back three spaces. Like, I don't even... Yeah, none of this stuff is, like, uh, feels that impressive, sadly. But he does get move plus one. Like, that's how you know it's a fucking free-to-play unit, man. When... S units that get like, I mean, other good units have it, but like fucking S units getting plus one movement for their first awakening, like how fucking dull, right? Like, 
it doesn't something doesn't have to just be good it should also be interesting and when the game first came out it was kind of interesting when something got an extra movement because a lot of things had two movement a few things had four but almost nothing good and so having a unit with like three movement was like a big deal and now that everything moves like 30 spaces or whatever you know it was a lot almost everything is by default at three now it's like besides the casters but they also have in much higher ranges um it just feels so weird to like a s unit it has two movement and then you get a third movement like and what's that attacking with a spell can grant meditate that must be an ability it must mean any of your skills maybe it did say skills and i misread it because he has like 130 wisdom you're not gonna put you can't learn scrolls so it must be like when you sometimes you heal after you attack which is pretty cool i do quite like that hello carver you know what you don't look quite as strong as i thought you did but you're still cool Carver, I, I you seem like a very likable character, and if I was to play Dragon Quest, I guarantee you'd be like my strongest character. Sometimes in RPGs, really, really strong, high defense characters are trash. Um, not because they're actually trash, but just because like low agility in characters can be really bad sometimes. Free the realms of uh revelation. The party you clear one quest with will be unable for the other quests. Got it. Oh, you know what that means. I didn't even think about this. Duh. Let's take a look here. We got the metal shop. We already looked at the swap shop. Um, already got these. I actually think I'm going to like pick up. The shop doesn't even open for another 12 days, but I think I'm going to get the um, irises. But that's not important. What I, what I was going to say is there must be a new uh, swap shop, right? For the metals. For Archfiend Mortimer. Let's take a look here. Iridescent Orb for 24 like, thing is, I don't even care about the orbs that much. I'm thinking I'm taking the hero fragments and the question mark fragments and the other things. Like, the or all that stuff is good, but the orb is the one that I care about the least personally right now. I have seven of these. Did I get the orb already? I did. And these things are like, you know, whatever. Just There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Let's take a look here. How do we actually rank up this guy? All Out Battle, Murda, Carver Road, Island of Smiles. I wonder if there's going to be something here about it. Like if we go to the here, right? Awakening progress. Here we go. Awakening mission. Tell me about this. One uses until next awakening. Carver, one man's path. Clear episode two, four, one time. Get him up to level 90. Clear event quests 500 times. Does he only need 10? He needs more than 10, right? Yeah, but it doesn't look like he needs 40. No, sorry, maybe he needs 10 and doesn't need 5. I do really like this. I like these quests to do this. And then you can actually go straight to the Awakening right here. Like, that's pretty sick. That's pretty baller. Um, rank up party member up 36 times. Whoa! Rank up party members 36 times! That's that's a lot. Is it possible that people wouldn't be able to do that one? I don't know. Recruit 50 party members in battle. We got Carver. Upgraded ability 200 times. Perform equipment alchemy 200 times. Um, 200 times for equipment alchemy? Man, go fuck yourself. We're doing it, but I don't like it. Uh, free the Phantom Realm. Clear hard one time. All right. Well, this is, this is fun because this is kind of like an overarching thing for the event. You don't just need to grind the same thing over and over again, necessarily. Um, let's see if we can get a little... I want to go until we could do, like, a free multi. Uh, yeah, one in the arena five, 500 times. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's go here. Let's go through the next um, thing here. How long is this video? It's, it's been 19 minutes, you know. Let's, um... What the hell? I have not seen that thing for sure. That is damn sure. Model she slime. That thing is a goddamn abomination. Oh my god. Um, actually though, I think that I think we kind of tackled everything. Um, I do want to do that ten pull, but honestly, I'll just do it in the next video. It's gonna take quite a bit longer for me to grind the metals to do that, and I'm just gonna go sit down, watch some YouTube, and grind this event out, clear it as much as possible. I feel like they're just slightly different shaped. Am I crazy? I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get Prism Peacock's next ability because it's a lot better. And Prism Peacock fucking sucks, but he could be really good. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. You know what? We'll finish this fight. We'll finish this fight. Why not? Um, actually, this is a good time. I'll probably do a separate video for this, but I figure if people are still sticking around at the end of this video, that it means you're probably a fan. And if you're listening to this part, it means you're not skimming the video. You're actually kind of paying attention. So we'll take a quick second to talk about guilds. But once we have more information about it, I'll actually release a, um, a probably a video separate of that. Um, so to address the elephant in the room, I suppose when it comes to guilds, it appears that there's only going to be room for about 20 people and I have patrons. So I, I really don't want the, um, I don't want to give the perception that you need to pay your way into my guild. Of course, that is not the case. Um, I don't have 20 patrons, so that's fine, but it would be unfair to me to not give first dibs into my guild to my patrons. Um, but let's say hypothetically, I do get to the point where I have 15 patrons plus. I think what I'm going to do, if there's 20 slots in the Alliance, I'm going to reserve 15 spots of them for, you know, the patron supporters that are actually financially doing it as like a benefit. And obviously the higher tiers will get benefit over that. Like, I don't like the whole mentality of buying your way in. Um, but I definitely want to have five slots dedicated to people that maybe don't, you know, financially can't afford to support directly in that way, but are just like fans and are active in the game and actually really want it and are very active in the community where it's just much more community, you know, leaderboard people as opposed to um, like patron stuff. So that's kind of what I'm I'm thinking we'll do for that, if that makes sense. But I'll, I'll make another video on it when we actually have some details. Um, you know what? I'm a Dragon Quest tact boy. How much is this? 3,000? Buy it. And if you stick around to the end, then you get a 10 pull here. I don't even really care if I get this guy, but here's the thing. I just spent the money, so here we go. The money has been spent. 3,000. Let's go. We actually, we're, we're, we gain a little bit of money or a little bit of gems after this, too. Um, but we are getting an S rank here, so thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Please, if you like this video, like it, share it, post it on Reddit, post it on Twitter, give it to your friends, help me recruit some of the uh, the financial aspect of it. Double S. That's because you shared the video. They give me an extra S uh, when you share the video. Yes, I'm talking to you specifically, not those other guys watching. You. He's blue slot. Oh, free A unit. Okay. Scared me. I thought it was going to be a good unit. Sorry. Honestly, I think the dream would be double drag wire, but we'll see. Maybe double the new guy would be better. Queen slime. Look at that. Guess who's got a fully awakened queen slime now. Now, don't give me another queen slime, please. Slime heart could be pretty dope. Like there's still quite a few dope things to hit. Um, White King is also dope. There's a lot of there's a lot of misses though. Baby, two in a row. We got the Terry. We got the Barbados. Hey there, Terry. Welcome to the party. Are we gonna love rank you up, level you up? That I'm not sure about. Um, I think we we might not go too hard on Terry, honestly. Um, because he's really, uh, hard to get another one of, but you know what? There you go. There's our 10 pull guys. Thank you so much for watching. Per platypus is per platypus. I will see you next time. Much love friends. I got to make this video go live. So peace.